Hello everyone. In previous video, we had discussed about the waterfall model of the SDLC process models. In this video, we are going to discuss about the incremental process model. The incremental process model combines the element of linear and parallel process flows and also each linear sequence produces the deliverable increment of the software which are also called as versions. The incremental model applies the linear sequences in a stacked fashion as calendar time progresses. For example, if we talk about the word processing application software development using the incremental model, it might deliver the basic file management, editing and document production functions in the first increment or first version and more sophisticated editing and document production capabilities in the second increment, spelling and grammar checking in the third increment and the advanced page layout capabilities in the fourth increment. This is the incremental process model. You can find all the phases in increment 1, increment 2, dash dash, increment n. Increment process, uh, increment model is the process of software development where the requirements are broken down into multiple standalone models of the software development life cycle. That is increment 1, 2, dash dash n. The first increment is often a core product where the basic increments are addressed and supplementary features are added in the next increments. Likewise, these increments are delivered to the end users. The advantages of the incremental process model is it generates the working software quickly and early during the software development life cycle. This model is more flexible, less costly to change the scope and requirements. And also, it is easier to test and debug during the smaller iterations. And also, this model, customer can respond to each build or increment, lowers the initial delivery cost, and also easier to manage the risk because Risky pieces are identified and handled during the iterations or increments. So these are the some of the advantages of the increment process model. And we have some of the disadvantages. It needs good planning and designing. And it needs a clear and complete definition of the whole system before it can be broken down and built incrementally one after the other versions and also the total cost is higher than the waterfall model. If we compare to waterfall model, always the increment process model cost is higher because of it uh, generates the number of versions, number of increments of the software and also the incremental process model always used for the complex requirements and complex programs or projects and uh, big projects can be adapted for this incremental process model. So these are the some of the advantages and disadvantages of the increment process model. So thank you one and all. Thank you. Kindly like, share and subscribe the channel.